I read Song and Dance Man when it came out, 1973, and it was the first critical writing about Bob Dylan I'd ever read that was actually interesting, that opened things up, that made it seem like Bob Dylan was living in a much bigger world than I'd ever imagined. I was just starting my own book that ended up being called Mystery Train right then, and when I read uh, Michael Gray, particularly on Bob Dylan and the blues and Bob Dylan and literature, I just sort of thought, well, maybe I should quit now. Uh, I'm never going to live up to this. The book was tremendously intimidating to me because it was just so good, so sharp, and so um, had such a vast frame of reference that um, it was both intimidating and inspiring. So I've always loved that book. I've always wanted to see what Michael comes up with next. Um, I think it's you know, absurd that this book has ever been out of print in any of its editions, and I'm thrilled to hear that it's going to be back in print in um, a lot of editions.